Hi, and welcome to Thesis. We are delighted that you're with us today, and uh, we're excited about you starting on the trail, which will lead you to your original research, leadership, or creative projects. Uh, Ms. Field is the backup uh, in any uh, regard of thesis that um, relates to the mechanics of it. Um, she is the one through whose hands the prospectuses will go. Uh, she is the one who will communicate immediately with us. Uh, thesis. Um, an opportunity to once in a lifetime um, determine what course you take um, that is entirely your own. It's your autonomous uh, decision. Um, you pick the topic. Uh, um, the topic itself you should pick from truly a wide range of the widest range of, uh, of, of topics there are. Uh, they may be related to your uh, field of study, to your major. They may be related to uh, interests you've always had, to hobbies, um, to other classes you've had. Uh, they may originate with teachers you've had and you want to go to the teacher and say, hey, I want to do an honest thesis. I want to do something with you. Um, so the, the, the topic you should feel very free to pick. Now many of you already take um, or wor working in, um, in research labs and of course uh, a very legitimate way of doing an honest thesis is to transform your um, work in your lab into an honest thesis. Uh, your lab director will know that um, a thesis is a little bit different from what you usually do in that um, in that lab, it will be will have to be an issue or a question um, related to, but not identical with anything that you do uh, for the lab. So um, it needs to be a question that you're asking specifically in in the context of this being your your thesis. You can also, and we really urge you to think about doing something in leadership. So we've had students do projects with um, homeless individuals. We've had students um, do projects uh, with uh, children. Um, we also would like you to consider doing a creative project. We've had students who have uh, played the piano for a number of years and written sonatas. We've had students who have uh, written, produced, and performed in original plays. We've had students uh, do artwork, um, students who are not majoring in those fields. So this is an opportunity for you to do something that really you are passionate about. Uh, again, I need to alert you to the fact that uh, whatever you do, you need the mentor. And while we will be glad to help you find one, uh -huh. and we of course have vast resources in this regard, we cannot um, guarantee you that if you, for example, have always done photography and you have this uh, portfolio of wonderful pictures, that you will be assured that a University of South Florida faculty member will uh, consider that work to be worthy of the beginning of a uh, photo thesis, for example. So uh, we are both together in this venture of finding you a mentor, but the actual footwork uh, will have to be done by you. Who is eligible to be a mentor? Everybody who is a USF faculty member is a mentor, which includes uh, Moffitt uh, staff. Uh, not staff, but Moffitt researchers. Mm -hmm. um, now, if your mentor, him or herself, is not affiliated with USF, say he or she is a physician in the community or in any other capacity out there, um, the reader, uh, the second person on the committee, needs to be a USF faculty member. So one of the two uh, needs to have experience uh, in what it requires to pass a six credit or sometimes nine, we'll get to that, uh, credit our USF course. If the mentor is not a USF um, a faculty member, I assume that uh, you need to approve that person. That's right, that's right. Uh, submit the name and, and we'll check it out. Um, there's one kind of fa USF faculty member with whom you need to be a little careful, and that is those who are not on permanent contracts. Um, if he or she is indeed available uh, this coming fall, that doesn't necessarily mean that he or she will have a contract in the spring as well. Uh, you need to hire the mentor for two semesters, of course, so um, make sure that the appointment of the mentor is a at least semi-permanent one. How and again, we can help you find out. How about a PhD student? A PhD, stu PhD student qualifies uh, in and by him or herself. Uh, would count as USF faculty, yes. Okay. But PhD is the condition, not masters would not would not be good enough. And the, you mentioned something about a reader. What's that about? A reader is the person who backs up the uh, the mentor. If the mentor is uh, either totally fed up with you and your work, 
and doesn't want to see you again, at least there is somebody who has some familiarity with your work and says, all right, we can work from here, we can go from here. But uh, that's, of course, the very unlikely case. The far more likely case is uh, that the mentor is uh, all of a sudden off on sabbatical um, or that the mentor says, yeah, this is my opinion, but let's hear somebody else. So uh, it's the balance on the committee. It's the guarantee that your work will be fairly judged and not be biased um, because the mentor particularly likes or particularly does not like you. Uh, how many pages does my thesis have to be? Uh, the thesis can be anywhere between uh, two pages or three for a physics thesis, um, or 120 for a novel in the English department. Um, if it is a work of art, it can be a tape, it can be a DVD, uh, it can be an exhibition. Um, the format is uh, secondary, as is the length. But uh, here again, and it's one of the many instances where we are really merely the backup. Um, the instructor, the mentor, after all, is the instructor of the course. And he and she stands for the, the, the crucial answer at the end of the second semester, is this piece of work worthy of six um, hours of credit as honors thesis and exit course for the university. You're going to sign up for two semesters of graduate level thesis. Um, and very carefully, I want to tell you that while your OASIS account is going to say that you owe graduate tuition, the university will buy the difference between undergraduate and the graduate tuition. I believe that uh, the university will send you a form that you need to fill out. Make sure that form is filled out. Make sure that somebody here in honors signs it and then bring it to the financial aid office. And once you do that, you will have no problem at all getting your uh, financial aid and you will not be billed the graduate level tuition. Thank you. There is one angle to this um, item that Dr. Silverman just mentioned, that is you must not drop this course. Uh, once you do, uh, the difference that uh, Dr. Silverman just mentioned will be charged to you. Uh, this is a one-time uh, uh, subsidy uh, we give you, and um, if you drop the course, you are liable for the entire $800 or $900 uh, amount. Uh, something else he touched upon, um, is it worth uh, graduate level work? Well, again, I have to refer to or defer uh, to the mentor. And not all mentors know automatically that graduate level work is expected. Um, so they need to be aware that a certain level of quality is required, mm -hmm. and they set the standards. Are there any forms that need to be turned in? There are lots of forms that need to be turned in. The thesis agreement form is called. The thesis agreement form, uh, w when you call it up on the website, you will see all these forms lined up. Uh, the thesis agreement form merely says that the mentor commits to you. Then there is the thesis um, prospectus, prospectus. prospectus approval form, uh, which again requires the signature of the mentor and needs to accompany, uh, accompany um, the prospectus. Now, what's the prospectus? The prospectus is a, a two to four or so, um, so-ish um, piece of writing, uh, which you submit uh, to the approval of the mentor after which he signs the thesis uh, prospectus approval form. <clears throat> and here you tell the reader um, what it is uh, that, you, uh, that you wanna do, um, how are you gonna go about it, and what the schedule is uh, that you will follow in fulfilling uh, and completing uh, the work. <clears throat> the forms, um, or the, uh, the thesis, uh, the prospectus approval form has a very important function. Um, if it is not uh, handed in uh, by the deadline, um, you are likely to receive uh, an incomplete grade for the first uh, semester of thesis. If you don't hear, uh, up to a week after submitting the prospectus uh, that there are deficiencies, you can assume that uh, the prospectus has been accepted and you can assume that you will receive an S grade as in satisfactory for the first semester. Um, if you miss the deadline, if there are problems with your um, um, thesis um, prospectus, then you may get the, the dreaded I. And also your registration for the next semester for thesis two depends on having received an S grade for the first semester. At the end of the second semester, when the project uh, is finished, you will turn in to the office the thesis approval form signed by your 
mentor and your committee member, you will send one PDF copy of your thesis to uh, the Honors College, and uh, the specific address is on the website. And uh, that finishes the forms that you need to fill out. So there are two forms that come in with the prospectus. And there is one form which comes in at the end. Before you turn in that thesis approval form and before you send the PDF copy, you must have a public presentation of your thesis. Some of you will be selected for thesis day. If not, then you, your mentor, and your reader will get together at uh, a mutually convenient time. You'll do a public presentation to them. Then, following your presentation, which could be 10 or 15 minutes, following the presentation, you and your committee will have a conversation about your thesis. And that's the presentation. This is not a defense in the graduate sense of the term, but it is a presentation followed by a conversation. And when that presentation and conversation is finished, your mentor should be ready to sign the approval form and provide you with a grade. Um, we forgot to mention one item, uh, and that is, if your thesis deals with human subjects, um, you are including photography, by the way, uh, photography that is uh, that contains people. Uh, you're required to complete uh, one of the online training modules um, that the uh, IRB uh, Internal Review Board um, uh, puts on. We have information um, on IRB and the IRB process on the thesis website, uh, so please consult that. Your thesis <coughs> will be published online in the same way that um, uh, doctoral dissertations at the university are uh, published online, and so we want the project to be something that you are proud of. Let me come back to the relationship between you and the mentor one more time. Um, the mentor is not responsible for you finishing the thesis. It is your responsibility alone. Um, if the prospectus is done well, it, it will contain a calendar. It will list the dates by which you will have accomplished certain uh, phases of, of, the, uh, of the thesis. Uh, it is your responsibility to live up to these dates and to engage the mentor in a meeting every time that such a meeting has been scheduled. What would happen, um, what should a student do if uh, getting time with the mentor is problematic? I mean, before you cancel the relationship, uh, please by all means see either one of us. Um, maybe it is a situation that we can help resolve. Uh, however, if the mentor uh, keeps being unresponsive, we may uh, be able to help you either uh, turn to the reader or uh, go somewhere else. Don't let, and this is a very common situation, don't let the fact that you haven't heard recently from your mentor delay your work on the thesis. Um, by the end of the first semester, you not only ought to have a firm team, meaning mentor and reader, uh, lined up behind you, you also need to have a co already accomplished some work. Uh, if you merely come to us at the end of the, f of the first uh, semester and say, well, I finally in the last minute found a mentor, but I haven't done a, a thing yet, I haven't written a line yet on the thesis, you're already in, in, in pretty bad shape because all of a sudden all the work will come down on one semester. And we have pointed out uh, a number of problems which will not happen. Right to almost um, all of you. Uh, one or two problems will occur, and what we really want you to know is that uh, Dr. Kleiner and I are here. We will help you in any way we can because we want you, number one, to have an awful lot of fun doing this project. Yes. We want you to do something that when you finish, you are proud of and you can say, hey, that's on the World Wide Web, along with all the doctoral dissertations. Uh, I am proud of this. So have a great time with thesis. Please know that we're here. And uh, if there are any issues, questions, problems, email, call, drop in, and we'll help. I hope that we have communicated most of the thesis process here. And when we do it again for the next semester, will be smoother and better, I hope.